Ferritross! Oh, Ferritross! Where are you? I sound like I'm playing like a childish game and it's not working whatsoever. <laughs> it was worth a try, I don't know, man. Hmm. I could have sworn she went this way. Well, hopefully it's- it sounds like there's a lot of people. I just don't know who else would be here, because, you know, Amaranth is sort of occupied right now <laughs> by us, of all people. I can't see anything. Oh, okay. Huh, I can click on something. Let's see. Where am I? Oh my god. Oh, right. Excuse my ignorance. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so sorry. I forgot the one thing that Shiori is. Blind. <laughs> Judging from the pressure of the wind and the distance of everyone's voices, I must be in the corridors. Okay, so let's figure out where we can go. I can sense a faint trace of malice, but from where? Ah! I tripped over at these barrels. How embarrassing. Perhaps I should focus a little more. The feelings I'm sensing from the tavern are interfering. That's why I hate crowds. Okay. Wait, oh. Veritross question mark. Okay, let's see if that's you. Oh. Was that right? I think I finally managed to censor. Weird. It's not like me to struggle so much just to detect a single person. Oh, there you are. You're still awake, Faratros? Mm. Oh, she's sleeping. <laughs> her emotions are always clouded. It's hard for me to see her malice below the surface level. I wonder if this is a side effect of the power of the Demon King within her. Despite how we found ourselves in such a sudden and dangerous situation, you managed to control your emotions. You know, it's not often I meet someone with such resolve as yours. You don't know anything. <gasps> God damn it, you're also drunk. <laughs> She's drunk! Can't you see? I mean... Once again, dumb question! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Control my emotions. Please don't make me... laugh. <laughs> it's not something I decided to do. I'm... condemned to control myself. Are you okay? Wait, you're drunk? Okay, the second one is obvious. The first one's more ambiguous. Let's go with the first one. I'm not. <laughs> okay, damn, alright. That wasn't the right option, it seems. Can't you see? You should be able to see the tremendous malice I carry. <laughs> Actually, I can't. I don't know why she's the first person whose malice is so... strange. This is making me feel anxious. She's there, but she's not there. I can't see her. Faratras, listen. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, could you? You must be <gasps> kidding me. <laughs> I'm the vassal of the Demon King. My very existence is a sin. Oh my god. Okay, this is not easy. Um, she's getting harder and harder to see if it's not already obvious to tell. She seems in pain, but I can't see her emotions. What should I say? There are many people who are here for you. Vassal is very loved and respected. The second one 
we can prove more wrong. The first one, we can prove more right. Our allies are merely escorting me. <laughs> My people, <laughs> they consider me a threat. Well, right now, they're just dumb idiots that just don't know any better, all right? That's the best I could say. <laughs> Well, it's not going to be like that anymore, I hope. I have no father and no mother. My only brother is a stranger. The only person I considered my family was a queen as cold as ice. Well, she was a bastard anyway. Your brother is more family than she is, alright? Uh, uh, as much as I'm sort of just rambling on about this, this is not easy. Oh. But it was all a lie. She used me and threw me away like trash and, and the people. Everyone in Wakade still respects you. Was that the second option? No. They feared not respected me. When that fear overcame their false respect, <laughs> they turned against me. I can't stop her emotions. They're just overflowing, and they hurt me so much. Why? See, I'm just a mere shell for a power bigger than me. Just like Master Albano said before I had... <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Please, stop, Veritross. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! <laughs> it's, uh... Why do our emotions feel so... familiar? Can I... Relate to her? Even without my power? It hurts. It hurts. Please stay. Stay back! Don't... Don't come near me! I don't deserve your kindness. Stay back! Well, this is the only thing we can do. Just kill her with kindness. I, that's, that's all I can think of right now. Just freaking control her. Just get her in a bear hug or something. That something. Hug her. Fire Tross. This is bad. I can't sense her anymore. What's happening? Where is she? What should I do? Where are you going in the middle of the night? Fire Tross. Oh God. Would you like to save? Yes. This it this could be very bad. That's all the words I have. In the fortress tavern, the sounds of reverie trail off into uncertain silence. The blind girl cries out, tears, confusion, and horror vying for dominance. But as others hear her despair, and move to her aid. A glimmer of resolve takes root. A determination to see things right. Amongst distant gnarled trees, the vassal's heart bursts illusions and falsehoods alike, whispering of inevitable death and despair. The vassal is in danger, not from Amaranth, nor from monsters, but from herself. And that's the most dangerous thing, because we don't know what she could do. Chapter 7, Requiem of Shadows. She already point of Suzaku's point of view. That was the shortest point of view ever. <laughs> Good thing that I didn't drink any alcohol. What an Arvium happened? 
I don't know either, buddy. I'm so sorry. I can't believe we lost track of her. She was standing in front of me just a little while ago. Perhaps if I had said something different, but I couldn't sense her emotions and I... Shuri, calm down. It's not your fault. No! J just no! S yeah. Why would I say the third option? No! <laughs> Meanie, thanks for comforting me. It's the bare minimum I can do for you, after all you've done for me. Regardless, we need to focus on finding Thowertross as soon as possible. There's no point in arguing over spilt milk. He's right. Hi, Rhea. So, just to confirm, you can't pinpoint Lady Thowertross's location with that power of yours, correct? <sighs> no. I could sense her malice yesterday during the battle, but then it suddenly became... clouded. I'm afraid that from this distance, I won't even be able to tell in which direction she is. Shiori, what do you think? From this distance, does that mean that you might be able to sense something if we got closer? Yes, which is why it's best for me to go ahead alone and let you know when I can sense something. Shiori, don't push yourself too hard. I know you're strong, but... <laughs> You're kind, Nini, but I can tell you're worried for the vassal, too. I'm... what? Uh... Do I have feelings for her? Could it be that she's just a friend? I should just ignore that. I'm going to do something bold, or most anime doesn't do. I'm not gonna target Fire Tross for a relationship. I think them being friends is... The way I would want to go, because I have a different goal in mind, and if it doesn't happen, oh well. She's just a friend. I don't think I have romantic feelings for her. Nonetheless, we should rescue her as soon as possible. Anyway, there's no need for you to go. Kristoff is already scouting the area for us. From what he was saying, he used to know this forest quite well. We should stay in the camp and wait for his report. But wouldn't it be faster if we split up now and search for Ferratross too? I beg to disagree. No, I agree with Sir Onier. The finding us further at night and in monster-filled woods would make our situation worse. Reconnaissance is one of Kristoff's specialties. Have faith in him. Let's return to the camp then. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. Alright, come on Kristoff. You big bastard. <laughs> Alright. So, I think that's a good place to hold off for now. Because that gives me time to prepare. Get all my gear, make sure everyone's fed. And then in the next episode, we can talk to some people. And then get after Ferratross. I think that's our best route of action, so thank you very much for watching, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jibba jabba, my kings, my queens, and my royals, and I will see you soon. That was a very tough episode to do, because as much as I was just talking out of my ass, that was... The, the moment between Shiori and Ferratross, that was tough, because we get to learn more about Ferratross's character, and... Yeah, she's pretty much right, sadly. But hopefully she realizes that she has friends now. And that we're just not escorting her. We're, we've become more than that, but that's all I can do, man. Gotta hope. <laughs> Lord knows I try.